Connection by Kim Yancey Moore. Setting, inside a Greyhound bus en route to Philadelphia from New York City. Characters, a grandmother and her 19-year-old granddaughter. Did you bring it? I looked through these bags twice. Now, I know I didn't pack it in my suitcase. Well, Gran, if you did, too late. That suitcase is rolling underneath us now. No word search puzzle to keep me occupied? Guess it's you and me, Virgie. Gran. If you take them headphone things out your ears for a minute, maybe we could have a little conversation. What about? Whatever. In my day, people used to know how to talk to one another, have some communion, some fellowship. Now everybody just got these wires coming out their head. I need to work on a website assignment for my part-time job. Didn't you bring a magazine or something? Wait, don't you knit? Don't I knit? How many baby blankets your mama kept that I made for you? I made you sweaters lately too. I ain't never seen you wear one of them. They itch. Excuse me, I use quality yarn. I've got all the sweaters, Grand. They're beautiful. I just can't wear them. Allergies. That's new too. Folks used to be able to eat, drink, wear anything. Now we've done messed up the air and water. These poor children nowadays can't even have a peanut butter sandwich. Neither can some adults. Ray Ray's bride to be. She's allergic to nuts. She is a nut. Lord. What is the wedding hoopla going to be like this weekend? I still don't know why you insisted we take the bus. I could have driven us to Philly in a lot less time. You just got your license. No, thank you. And this way, no distractions. We can just be very cool. Baby, don't you worry about getting your eyes all messed up? Staring at that bright screen from sun up to sundown. Take breaks, Gran. Really? You've been on that machine since you got on this bus. All I know is when Jesus calls me home, he ain't coming by cell phone, computer, or leaving a message on an answering machine. Oh, come on, old lady. Didn't you tell me how you excited you were so excited when your family got their first TV set? Now, that was a big step from those radio days. <laughs> and don't even mention color TV. I thought I had died and gone to heaven. Oh, so Jesus did come calling for you on some kind of device? Smart mouth. <laughs> but your mama tells me you don't hardly socialize with nobody. Just school, work, and that computer screen for hours. You're too smart, pretty, and talented to keep yourself hunched over these gadgets. I am not hunched. You keeping company with anybody? Keeping What is this, the 19th century? It's a phrase from my courting days in the 1950s. And you know what I'm talking about. You got a boyfriend. No. Want one? Graham. Do you? I haven't met anyone. Lift your head from them screens. It's too hard. I don't always get people, but I get the world in here. I know how to navigate here. I feel lost with the people at school. Be brave, like your grin, and step on out and meet the world. Wait. Don't they have them social meeting places on these machines? You mean dating sites? Well, it seems to me, if that's where you're most comfortable, that's where you start. Maybe try that eHarmony site. I remember those commercials. Made me feel all warm inside that folks could find love and be compatible. You know, I read that man that starred in them commercials was the co-founder and he was a psychologist, and he went to seminary school. Now you put together Jesus, good sense, and love, you got a match. <clears throat> what? You just never cease to amaze me by what you know. 
might be a few good looking eligible young men at this three ring circus wedding we go into. I know Dot's grandson is coming. He's studying to be a doctor. You all played together when you were little bits. Anthony? Anthony Wade is coming? Mm-hmm. Well, how do you know he's coming? Me and Dot keep in touch on Facebook. She's always posting pictures of him, bragging on all he's up to. Mighty cute young man he done grown into. Well, I haven't seen him in years. We don't have anything to talk about. Seems to me you might already have a date just waiting for you. <clears throat> Hope you brought a really pretty dress to wear. Something flowy and romantic. Men like that. Why do I need to alter my wardrobe all of a sudden? I didn't say nothing about altering. One little old dress that flatters your shape is simple to do. I do have a brain, you know? I'm not a hanger for clothes. Isn't the point to talk? To have a conversation, interact? Baby, a little lipstick and a nice dress will only add to the conversation. Trust Gran. That is so shallow. How do you know Anthony isn't involved with someone? Dot says he's a lonesome soul, just like you, all work and no play. Had to twist his arm to agree to come with her to this wedding. Whoa, hold up, Grant. Are you and Dot trying to play matchmakers? Ain't nobody matchmaking. You, a beautiful, smart, talented young woman. She got a handsome, smart, and talented grandson. Neither one of y'all seeing anybody at the present time. What is the harm of talking to an old childhood friend, catching up, comparing the years, seeing if you have anything in common now? I didn't say married, boy, just get reacquainted. I don't know what I'm supposed to say to him. The only thing you're supposed to say is hello. Let the spirit take it from there. The spirit? I can help you with your hair tonight for the rehearsal dinner. Sweep it up in a nice do. This is all too fast. Don't y'all computer folks love faster downloads and high internet speeds? <laughs> Come on and catch up to the moment, baby. And you can pull up my Facebook page on this machine. I'll show you a photo of Anthony. There he is. Ah. Not bad. Not bad at all, child. Quite good. Just a little more curious now about it. Looks like we're getting ready to pull into the station. I actually brought three dresses, Grant. I couldn't decide between them. Would you mind taking a look, helping me pick one for the rehearsal dinner tonight? Of course, baby. This is crazy. <laughs> Nothing crazy about it, baby. Just trying to make a connection. A human connection. No expectations, no promises. Of course not, baby. Just expect to be your sweet, smart self and enjoy meeting an old friend. That's it. Anthony and I loved watching that show Avatar. We used to try to bend the air. Well, there you go. Sounds like you got something to say besides hello. Maybe. Ain't no maybe. Sounds like a sure thing to me. Now, as soon as I get my bags down from un down under this bus, help me look for that word search book because I think it's going to be my company for a good part of this weekend. I think you might be otherwise engaged. <laughs> my sweater. Where's oh, it's sweater? there. Air condition on this oh, bus. Oh, there. They start to collect their belongings and work their way toward exiting the bus. End of play. <laughs>